right. Welcome to my class, everybody. This course is UI technology. What is that? This course is UI technology. So in this course, what I'm going to discuss is, what are the technologies I'm going to discuss? Is? Suppose I'm going to discuss HTML version 5. CSS version 3. JavaScript, all the latest things also I will tell you, no need to worry. jQuery and Bootstrap. Four. These are the technologies I am going to discuss in this class, in this course. These are the five technologies. And before learning this course, do we have any prerequisites? No need to have any prerequisites. Just basic computer operation. How to start the computer? How to save any time? That basic fundamentals is required. That's it. Understand right? So this is not, there is no necessity for any prerequisites. If you have any other language uh, knowledge, it's okay. That is not a disadvantage. But if you don't have any knowledge also, that is not a problem. Easily you can understand. It. Clear it, everybody? There is no prerequisites. Why? Because this is the stepping stone for the software industry. Okay, this is a stepping stone for the software industry. Clear it, everybody? Kindly respond. HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, jQuery, and Bootstrap. There is no prerequisites are required. Okay, right. So what is this class today? Today only introduction can be possible because this is the starting of this chapter. So in the starting class, you know, only introduction can be possible. So before doing this introduction, I will use, I will introduce myself. My name is Ramesh. I have certain plus years of experience as a web developer on the trainer. Okay, right. Now, what can be possible? UI introduction. So, UI introduction. So, introduction. So, if you are walking in the uh, Amir Pet Street or any software industry street, you will see something like this. Software industry training street. UX slash UI. Right? Have you ever observed or not? Is this one person that's one? UX slash UI also somebody will keep in their uh, uh, pub, uh, board, in their practice also. He respond, I don't like silence. Hey, yes or no? Have you observed or not? Hello? Unmute yourself and please speak. What about us? Only Nitesh is responding. Shobham is there, Mansur Ali is there. Only and others also, who is this? Kiru Reddy is there. Please respond. Have you observed or not? Yes. Right. So then what is UX? What is UI? And what is the difference between them? Yes, for your knowledge, you can ask. What is UX? And what is UI? What is the difference between them? Or else both are same, or else both are different. If they are different, what is the difference between them? Hmm. Any idea? Okay, Tiru, right. So now see here, UX. What is UX stand for? Is user experience. What is that? User experience. Yeah, perfect. User experience. Okay? Right. Then after UI stands for user interface. UI stands for user interface. They both are different. They are not same. They both are different. But UI depends upon UX only. They have a relation. Like you and your brother. You both have very strong relation. But you both are finally two individual persons. Right everybody? Respond please. Or else like you and your father also. You both are very strong relation. You both have very strong relation. But however, you both are two individual people. Like that UX and UI also. They have a relation but both are different. Okay? So coming to this UX, this is graphical part. This is graphical part. UI is programmatical part. Okay? Right. So UX is not included in our course. Only this UI related things only included, but little bit knowledge I'm sharing with you. I want to share with you, okay? What is UI and what is UI? What is the necessity for UI? Okay, right. So, 
that purpose the if you want to know the importance of the ux uh, ux reasoners means we need to know how software industry functions also we need to know how software industry functions also so in every software company in every software company in every software company there will be some departments will be there what are the sales department what is that everybody sales department then after business department okay then after hr department okay and then after technical department okay and then after ceo project manager okay those will be there ceo ceo okay forget about them okay right and especially what is the sales department will do okay i will explain this as a technical department who will contain uh, what this technical department will contain uh, everything i will tell you so first of all we will go for one by one sales department this department is main to get project for the software industry understanding my point this sales department is main to get project for the software industry that means your company what they will do they will promote our uh, uh, company also of course that is seo persons department also so there will be other department also there technical department the rs seo department what is it everybody yes seo rs digital marketing what is it everybody digital marketing so these persons will promote our application about our company in the internet through go in the google also in the facebook youtube whatever it may be they will try to promote okay then of yeah interaction with the client and close the subscribe yeah yes me yeah. okay right then after what happened this sales department will people will get some inquiries suppose some other user is there his name is uh, mahesh so he wants to develop an application so he don't know how to develop that application what he will do he will search for the software company so like that he will say something in the google and they will find some company's uh, uh, website and they will send some inquiry so my name is mahesh my email is this thing my phone number is this thing and i want to application okay i want to develop an application this type of application i want like that he will send some inquiry so that what happens this is sales department person will take care of, okay will get the details okay then after they will call to that uh, uh, inquiry person okay so we can call generally as lead uh, so okay lead suppose you are also leads to me okay, in this class okay when now you make ah, payment then only you will come to it till then you are just lead for apply cheyalante okay like the same way because uh, you are inquiry okay so when the laptop no website open just for the teaching very well or not all those things what are doing we are inquiry And, okay so till then up to making payment you will be my uh, leads only like that who ever went wide that person will be leads only they are not clients understanding the difference between lead and client upon everybody hello hello okay right so he is just lead so then after they will make a call to that lead and they will explain about the how our company functions what are the application they have developed so who is our client okay or what is the good feedback we got all those positive things they will explain to the client okay they should have some good communication skills also okay right then after this sales department for time will forward that lead data if he is interested to the business department why because uh, they are not aware of business requirements they only aware of project construct okay project that means how much it will cost all those things or else interaction with the client only that much only they know they don't know how to develop an application so then they will forward that lead details to the business department so who will be in this business department who will be in this business department in the good and in what person yes okay who will be in this business department 
बिजनेस एनालिस्ट तो ये दिस बिजनेस एनालिस्ट बी ए वी कैन टॉक ओके बिजनेस एनालिस्ट आर एल सम अदर पर्सन ऑल्सो विल बी दे बी डी ओ बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट ऑफिसर आर एल बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट मैनेजर समथिंग लाइक दैट दे आर वेरी एक्सपीरियंस पर्सन ओके so he this business analyst what he will do he will speak with the client sometimes they have some clear knowledge what type of application they want sometimes they don't have any knowledge just uh, they have some basic knowledge only okay so that they will ask for any reference sir what type of application you want do you have any reference websites like that so if the client has any reference websites he needs to that business analyst will go through that application right what purpose to gather the requirements understand it everybody yeah requirements yeah perfect uh, needed okay he will gather some requirements if the client has some pure knowledge he will give that requirements or else he business analyst has to gather the requirements and finally he has to conclude he has to convince or else he has to explain what are the possible way he has to conclude the requirements okay this type of application i want something like that okay right if that application that the client is very interested if he wants to develop in multiple ways then he will take help from the bd1 bdm also okay but if he want only application level only that requirement he will uh, speak with the business analyst only and the business analyst will be responsible for the business requirements gathering okay understanding this point what is the role of this business analyst shubham you are not responding mansur ali you are not responding on starting Three respond. Three is responding and Nitesh is responding. What about other? Respond to them. You are muted. Mansoor Ali, you are muted. Uh, four is advanced five. Say yes or no. Understanding or not? Mansoor, I am not getting your audio. Uh, take your uh, audio connection on. Nice one. Yes, I am getting. Yeah, right. Yes, I am getting. Right. So business analyst is the responsible for the business requirement. okay see whenever application making not only programmers this business analyst also is the responsible for the application development why he has to tell clear requirement okay right so suppose i told you to uh, go to some place so i need to tell rex right, which place you need to go okay whom you will need to meet and what you need to speak all those things i need to explain or not respond everybody all those things i need to explain or not suppose i told you to go to delhi so directly will go or else say i need to tell a personal thing so go to this book shop find this book and buy it and please give it to me that type of instruction i need to give it or not that's fine so what is that instruction requirements only by using that requirements only other persons will get some idea like that programmer what to develop for what purpose they need to program all those things depends upon the requirements requirements is the fuel in business application you know bike so without fuel can you ride the bike no so fuel is very very important okay in the same way requirements are the fuel then only we are able to program okay so this business analyst is the uh, responsible for the requirements so once the requirements is finalized once this one yeah pawan you want to ask anything right once the requirement is finalized mm -hmm. then there are staff they will conduct a meeting with the technical department okay so before that before conducting that meeting what they will do this business analyst will send the requirements documents to the technical department so how many technical departments will be there how many technical department person will be there how many technical department will be there there will be multiple one is wad web application development okay another one is mad that means not mad people mobile application development okay wad and then after which 
टेस्टिंग डिपार्टमेंट थ्री थाउजेंड ओके 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 so this is the department it will be there for the application purpose clear or not last point everybody okay right for all those person head will be project manager not able to understand my point for all this person head will be project manager ok sir meku mail pampata sir okay sir project manager okay that right. for all these persons we will be project manager so this business analyst and every department there will be different different teams and whoever part of that application that particular team that has a team leader also so this business analyst and this web application development team leader and senior employee mobile application development team leader and senior employee and the testing department team leader and senior employee and this project manager all these people sit in a room why after reading the business requirement why they will say definitely not to drink tea and chai biscuit understanding that is not the criteria for what purpose their major main agenda is two points one is the deadline yeah they need to request about the uh, requirement okay right and finally the goal is to finalize the deadline at least for a single sir, module or for entire the application that mm -hmm. depends mm -hmm. upon the application mm -hmm. cycle okay and then after how many persons are required for each and every department web application development how many persons are required mobile application department how many persons are required required testing department how many people are required like that okay so that is uh, finalize the human resource okay so then after what they will do they will finalize the team size for each and every department and they will finalize the phase put over self command right they will finalize the deadline for the application or else at least a single module first of all they need to finalize the deadline of the entire application then only they will make into module and they will finalize the module deadline out okay right up to here this is the agenda and then after what they will do all those things they will forward to the sales department okay so they will finalize the price depends upon the persons they are using depends upon the effort they are keeping okay and depends upon the team size and depends upon the requirement and depends upon a uh, uh, calculation and everything they will finalize the <coughs> price of the application okay and they will finalize the deadline of the application and they will finalize the deadline of a single module also if everything is fine with that price and uh, application cost and uh, okay and deadline and module deadline and everything then lead will ask to start the work and he need to send some money not entire thing very just uh, confidence purpose he will send only little bit money only and application will start This is the process to start the application. Up to here it is clear. Respond everybody. Mantu ready. Nitesh, Pawan, Subham, Sri ready. And everybody respond confidently. Say yes or no. Finally. Okay. Right. So then after, what is the thing you need to do? So they will release some money, right? So then that lady is becoming the. client by he has released some money so he will be our client so after that okay this uh, in this web application department only there will be us also ui also and php developer java developer dot net whatever it may be all the departments are included combining all of thing as called as web application development and java dot net they will be part of the server application development also okay right and mad mobile application development android developers yes. ios developers hybrid application developers like that testing manual testing department or as mission testing that means of programmatically selenium qtp something like that department also will be there okay right so whatever it may be finally they are sending that requirement right 
So after gathering the requirement, in the UI department, who will start the work? UX designer will start the work first. Understanding? So that UX designer has to have more common sense. Okay. They need to convert that requirement into application format. Understanding my point? They need to convert that mobile application, uh, sorry, uh, business requirements into application format. Application format means what? Where we need to keep header. What that header should contain? What that header should contain the icon? What are the appropriate logo? What are the appropriate colors? How many colors are required? And what are the uh, uh, what are the icons that application required? And what is suitable uh, icon? For which criteria? And where we need to place that uh, place? Uh, menu where we need to keep, products where we need to keep, product details where we need to keep, reviews where we need to keep. Okay, social media promotion related things where we need to keep. Okay, all those things he has to get some clear idea. Understanding it, everybody? Just one place. Okay, right. Not directly templates, Sathiru, and not directly templates, wireframe. So, after getting that idea, he will first design the wireframe. What is that? Wireframe. Wireframe means planning for our application. Wireframe means planning for our application. What is the planning? I will describe for you. For example, see this. Suppose you want to construct a home. Okay. Directly you will order the bricks and cement uh, and directly you will construct a home. You will write a plan. You will design a plan. Respond everybody. Next one, please. You want to construct a home directly? Yeah. Next one, everybody. Okay. Directly, we'll order the cement, concrete daily. Uh, today, one brick. Tomorrow, two bricks. Then after ten bricks. Then after one cement uh, pack. Then after ten cement packs. Like that, or else, uh, first of all, we'll design a plan. We'll design a plan. Like that, whenever they want to develop an application also, they should have a plan. That plan, directly, they don't design web page. They will design in a graphical tool, graphical software. Why? Because that is very easy to modify. If any requirements, changes are there. Unless if any modifications are there, it is very easy to modify. So that's why we need to go for, okay, wireframe. What is this? Is it? Why wireframe? Wireframe means for plan of the application. Why did you put a setting here? One year. Hello. See, this is the logo, this is the plan. So, this is the header part. This is the menu part on set area also. And this is the food part, product part. Okay, right. And this is the reviews part. And this is the footer part like this. And then after, and then after, see it. And again, this EA is dividing this header into two sections left side and right side. Clear it, everybody? Left side and right side. Okay, logo, then after notification icon, then after the slider, above that, horizontal center, see it. This is also exactly in the center, so it is horizontal center. And from the top, it has a space. And then after, there is a search box. Searching to that, searching to that. Okay, there is a menu, menu 1, menu 2, menu 3, and menu 4. Okay, everybody. And then after, there is a product. And we are displaying four columns for each and every row. Understanding at my point? <coughs> for every column, we are displaying okay, four columns per a row. And then after, there is a heading, trending, food. Then after, best of us, there is also four columns. Then after, reviews. For review slide, we are, uh, for review, we are displaying only two users. And this is the username area. And this is the, sorry, this is the user profile. And this is the description. And then after, again, they are dividing vertically into two parts. Bottom of the application is copyright. And again, they are developing three parts horizontally. Left side, center, right. So left side, logo. Okay, again. 
and then after little bit about about us and then after in between subscription and then after get in touch social media icons clear it everyone send it respond hello okay right social media icon okay so first of all he will send this plan to the client so if the client is satisfied with this plan okay if the client is satisfied with this plan see some clients can understand the plan some clients they don't understand also so what they will ask so don't do any vision please directly make the mock up of course if you understand also directly you will ask for the mock up okay right then what is mock up nothing but a brochure we can call in the real one that means suppose you are not constructing a home you want to purchase a already in built home that means you want to purchase from a realtor new building only but you want to purchase from a uh, uh, realtor so that uh, because okay you want to uh, purchase a home in a good area which is near to your kids school there is a parks are available where is uh, some movie theaters are available in that area you want to take a home so okay and some nice already some nice buildings are constructing so what is what are you doing till entire things is not completed only plastering is completed or else some uh, something is constructing also so what you like only that area because shopping complex are near movie theaters are near schools also near vegetable park market also near okay and uh, everything is near for you your office also at least only 5 km only away so you you choose that particular place only so however you want to purchase a home in that area so what you will do though the con- uh, concept is completed or not you will try to book a flat right everybody respond you will try to book a flat or not respond if you like the area respond please everybody right so then what happens whenever you want to purchase a flat of course you are not uh, uh, by blindly you don't purchase it so what you will do you will ask for the plan after understanding the plan what you will ask brochure after completion of this building after completion of this my flat how my flat will look like where is the hall where is the kitchen where is the bedroom where is the bathroom where is the balcony so okay how much space it has all those things you will ask for a brochure or not respond everyone you will ask for a brochure or not before uh, uh, purchasing it yeah brochure is nothing but design right so that what he will display uh, outside of the home how it will look like how fronting the home each and every area all of it will look like how much space it is how to design it all those things that plans also he will explain manually or else he will keep from so far this is the best way to align your affairs and uh, where the kitchen will come where puja gadi will come sorry where puja room will come okay where washrooms will come where bedrooms will come where cupboards will come all those things he will keep it in a brochure okay if you if you are feeling interesting that home then only you will purchase it right everybody respond Hi. everyone am i clear correct or not respond kindly right in the same way okay after planning is uh, if the client is okay with this plan then he will ask us for to create a brochure nothing but in application level mark up what is mark up exact plan and the exact images in that plan okay exact images in that particular plan now see it exact images in the exact plan simply it see it everybody header path logo and orange color four icons and this is a background image horizontal center from the top it has a bar uh, space and set bar and this menu touching it okay and trending food four columns only and by default it is displaying here only two sections what is that uh, item name and restaurant name but whenever you over it is displaying four items four things what is that item name restaurant name price and not on our button and best offers and then after review area and photo section clear it everybody respond 
ओके दिस इज कॉल्ड ए मार्कअप मार्कअप में एग्जैक्ट इमेजेस इन दी एग्जैक्ट प्लेसेस बाय सीइंग दिस सी विल गेट एन आइडिया एंड इफ यू ऑब्जर्व हियर वी आर यूजिंग सम अप्रोप्रिएट आइकॉन बाय सीइंग दिस आइकॉन व्हाट वी आर व्हाट वी टू अंडरस्टैंड रेस्पॉन्ड एवरीबॉडी बाय सीइंग दिस आइकॉन व्हाट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड ओके हियर इफ यू क्लिक एड्रेस लोकेशन If you want to book a table, you can need to sit here. If you want to uh, see any price related thing, or else it is there. If that application is offering any value, that related thing, you can ask it here. If you want to register also, login also, this is the user icon. You must click here. And if you observe here, he is using here magnifying icon. Why? By using magnifier, what we will do? We will search deeper. Okay. We are very busy. Suppose we lost something. Okay, what you will do? Sometimes you will use magnifying tool also. If that is, uh, if that uh, instrument, uh, if that uh, thing is very small, so that it will zoom. Uh, that means it will uh, uh, display each and everything. Like that, here also it will display each and everything related to our application. So that's why they are using here magnifying icon. Understand that? And see that he is using here biryani icon, starter sa, strawberry icon, drink sa. Okay, some milkshake icon. Milkshake related uh, glass and bouquet table. And if you observe here, all the icons are representing the purpose or not? Respond, everybody. Respond, please. So this is called user experience. By seeing this uh, icon, we will experience something. By seeing this application, we will experience something. For example, mobile phone. Some parents are educated. Some parents are not educated. They are really bad. But however, in this case, at least basic phone is mandatory. So in that case, you want to educate the your parents. What you will do? Just how to operate the mobile? How to operate means how to how to speak in phone. After speaking, how to cut that phone? See, this is the basic fundamental thing. What you will tell? You don't explain entire phone function. How we will tell? What happens when we download it? Simply, what you will tell? Whenever the phone rings. Click on the green icon. Whenever you start, whenever you want to uh, complete your uh, conversation, click on the red button. Right? That's what you done. We educate in this manner or not? Green and red button. So that what happens? When you use that icon, when you use that color, that uh, everybody can experience something. So just because of that icon, we can explain the functionality also. So that is the importance of the icon. That is not a just the meeting. We need to choose appropriate icon. For example, see their main course. Suppose you are also joining in a course today. You are not knowledge. So can I can I keep here book or anything? Are there any material? Are there any Java book? Are there any book like that? In the place of main course. That's for everybody. No. Why? That is not fulfill our requirement. This is restaurant app. Okay. Not any education related thing. So we must use here any biryani items related things only. Okay. 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 On the starter, he is he is not displaying any kick starting of the bike that type of thing. He is displaying here. Okay. Displaying here what? Strawberry. So nobody eat uh, uh, kilos and kilos of strawberry. Okay. Five to ten strawberries they will use. That means starter only. Drinks. See other uh, hot drinks also there. This is only restaurant, not bar and restaurant. That's why they are not keeping here beer or whiskey bottle. Okay, they are also drinks, but that is not our criteria. What is this? This is a restaurant, yeah. So we need to keep here milkshake related bar, uh, glass one. Understand that my point? And then after book a table. In our classes also, in our colleges also, we have a table. But now they are not displaying here any college related table. They are displaying here any restaurant related table. Why? Because this is a restaurant table. Clear or not? Respond very kindly. So the previous reason is he should have a clear idea what type of icon he should choose. Clear it, everybody? Right. So after choosing this, what we need to do? Okay. Suppose I want to search anything. Can I search anything here? Respond, everybody. Can I search anything here in this uh, image? Can I search anything? Respond, please. No. Okay. So.
so that what he will do he will say he will send this to the client but client also cannot send anything so he will, but he can what he can do he can send it to the client then he will ask her to convert that into a web page so we can do this into a web page this image into a web page we need to use the html file on css account and to make that web page response so we need to use this bootstrap code technology that means a framework later i will discuss okay step by step okay to convert that image into a web page we need to use html file on css three so now observe here The web page always opens in the browser itself. See it now. Same designing or not? Logo, icon, location, look at label, icon, user login and sign up, menu. Set you can set here. See it? Now here I can set. Of course, retrieving data is the server-side programmer's purpose, but user can type here. And then after you can click here. And then after see it. Whenever you over it is zooming. And here it is transparent. But whenever it is overing, it is white color. And see, whenever you over, it is changing the color. And see it now, reviews. And then after copyright and social media accounts, getting or not? Let's find everybody. Let's find everyone. Right. So this is a web page. Then, what is a web page? Can be called user interface. Not only user interface. UX and UI. The web page is nothing but combination of UX and UI. See, this is the UI because I can interact, and this is also UI. I can experience and I can click. Clicking means you are interacting. Seeing means experiencing. So, web page is nothing but combination of UX and UI. Clear it, everybody? It will contain pure icons also. By using that icons, we can interact also, and through this, we can. Uh, type and we can interact with our application also. User interface stands for user interactivity by filling the data, by clicking, by hovering, and everything. User experience means by seeing something, he will experience something. That's it. Okay, but just because of seeing some icon that comes under user experience. Clear it, everybody? So this is about this UX and UI. And so there is only five to ten minutes, right? Time. So in this course, what is the template we are going to design? Okay, not this template. This is not responsive. Just for understanding purpose, I am telling it. And in this course, what is the template we are going to design? Is this template? What I will teach in this course? Somebody will get some doubt, right? So see, tell you anything or something. Else. See, it? this is the template we are going to design. This is third party font. This is not regular CSS3 font. Font. This is third party font. That means I will tell you how to utilize the third party font also. And this is responsive. And if you observe here this icon, this is not image. They are third party icons. Font awesome icons. That means I will tell you how to utilize the font awesome icons also. Third party icons also. And then after, see it whenever you are scrolling. This is this image is moving. Respond kindly. Is this image is moving? Hello. Image I am asking you. I am asking about this image. This image it is not moving. So this is called parallax effect. That is also I will tell you how to do it. And then after this projects and this one social media account. This is also third party tools. That is also I will tell you. And a slider by using Bootstrap. Of course, image sizes are not same. That's why it is coming zigzag order. But in real time, they will give some equal size images so that they will come clear. And then after photo, a form, and how to integrate our uh, office-related map in our application. That is also I will tell you pure real. And this is responsive. For example, observe there. I am decreasing the size. Are you able to see the complete menu now? Previously, are you able to see the complete menu? But are you able to see the menu now? Respond, everybody. No, but you are seeing the menu icon. Whenever you click, the menu is coming. That's it. And whenever you observe here, this is also reducing. And previously displayed four columns per row, but now only two columns per row. And button size also increased compared to the previous. See it. 
other this size and this size. And again, if you decrease, yes, sir, see it still the internal size is increasing, and they are yes, coming sir. one by yes, one. Sir, and yes, if you observe here, this image is coming sir. one by one. Uh -huh. And whenever you increase, okay, still they are coming one by one. But they are now it is yes, coming are two columns per. Sir, see it, everybody. Sir, still, sir, if you increase, sir. they will come sideways. See it sir. now. Coming right, everybody. And whenever you decrease again, see they are coming three columns per row. But still, if you decrease in the smartphone, they are coming two columns per row, this project area. And team section, they are coming one by one only. But if you increase, if you increase, still it is increasing. See, now they are coming for three columns per row. And social media comes also. And slide also adjusting. In the same way, this quarter also. See it everybody? Adjusting or not? Just one please. Now they are coming one by one. So according to the depends upon the devices and the browser size, our web page is manipulating or not its sizes. Respond everyone. Adjusting its alignment or not. So this is called response to design. So this beautiful template we are going to design in the lab. Clear it everyone? How much practical I will teach you? And not only this, I will teach in everything very practically. See it. Transform properties. You stay, see it, whenever you over, it is coming like this, like master card effect. Okay, not only this, translate example, see it, which is very important. And whenever you over, a overlay is coming, something is coming, see it. How to display a background image and how to make a transparent color, how to display multiple colors, that is also I will tell you in this class. Okay, not only this, see it. Positions are very, very crucial. See it, everybody. I will take uh, minimum two to three classes. Yes, sir. More than three classes also I will take for the only positions. Why my students should perfect with the positions. If you are able to do the positions work, 70% of the spaces, we can do it. Remaining 20% is adjusting the spaces. Remaining 10% is only small, small property related to CSS. That's what. Okay, see it. Overlay. Okay? Top to bottom, bottom to top, and everything. And see it, image overlay example. Image overlay also. And a lift door. See it, by default it is a transparent, but whenever you over, see, you know, right, lifter. Whenever lifter arrives, it is closed. But after some time, the lift door will go to left side, right door will go to right side, like this. Clear it, everybody. Here also I use the transparent colors. Respond everybody, understanding or not. Right, and then after uh, this thing, for example, see it, whenever you over it is coming like this, and whenever you over honey here, it is zooming without disturbing this. That is also very important. And then after description. Yeah, description see that? Mention okay, this is the multiple colors, gradient color, not only single background color. Gradient colors also I will teach you. These are all pure CSS3. Okay, position picture, see it. Whenever I'm scrolling, is the menu is moving? Respond everybody. Whenever I'm scrolling down, is the menu is moving? Respond everybody. No, this is called position picture. And then after position sticky, after here, now I am scrolling, the menu is moving or not? Respond everyone. Menu is moving or not? Yes. But once you touch the viewport, after under here, once you touch the viewport here, top position. Is it moving now? Is it moving now, Minu? No, this is called sticky position. You are real time or not? Have you ever observed or not? 310. Okay, right. Not only the pseudo selectors, I am seeing it. Rainbow. By using HTML changes, I am made this rainbow. Okay, everybody. Right, huh? and everything I will tell with practical knowledge. The difference between inline block elements, visible design and display now, and the box sizing, box shadow, everything. 350, I think. my point? Not only HTML series, JavaScript and jQuery also. Full fresh in knowledge, real demand, I will give you. Will you also teach Ajax and JS? 
See, Ajay Khan Gesan is not a big topic. They are 17. Nila 17. Okay, they are just techniques on. Okay, right. Okay, Pawan. I will take clear knowledge. I will give you clear knowledge all. Okay, right. I will tell you that. After completion of Java from jQuery, you understand that? Ajay Khan Gesan. Okay, definitely I will tell you that. Is this point clear everybody what I am teaching in this class? Yes, yes. And other here is Java of Shet also. Async and Dev. Okay. And ERA method. And not only this, Kuki. Local storage and session storage. Map method, filter method. Okay. And get elements by class name, tag name. Okay. For each thing. Inner text and inner HTML. Keyboard events, mouse events. Local storage, map method, see it. Objects. Query select all and promises. Set time out, clear time out. Set time out and a clear time out. Set interval, clear interval. Session storage, see it. All these latest topics I will clear, I will cover. With clear knowledge. jQuery also, DOM traversing methods and everything. Clear it everybody, observe here, take out the end menu. This is also pure jQuery, this is a type of thing. By using jQuery, I done this. Clear it everybody, respond. This is the practical examples I will tell you. Understanding or not? Okay, everybody displays the course content, but directly I am displaying the course and course content along with the examples. And one more thing, I want to confirm you, I don't have any pre-written material. Whatever the notes is required, I will give it in the class. Every file will contain the notes also. Okay, after making payment, I will share the videos with everybody and class files also. Files will contain the notes also. Files are downloadable, but videos are not downloadable. Videos only watchable. That is also I will share with you after making payment. Okay, everybody. On Monday to Friday only classes, daily same time, 9 to 10. Could you please share learning path of different technologies? See, that is different courses, Thiru, uh, but whatever the knowledge you are getting in the JavaScript and jQuery in my classes, those will be useful to learn React.js, Angular, and Node.js also. Okay? Um, right. So, sir, uh, is it a prerequisite for the other <coughs> technologies? Like, because I am hearing a lot of names and things like React, Angular, JS, Right. Like, this, this is the, yeah, this is the, yeah, see, this is the basic stone. This is the basic okay. step to learn that technologies. Okay, React okay. JS also, mean stack also, Node JS also, Express JS also. This JavaScript knowledge is a, uh, mandatory. So, whatever JavaScript you are learning from me, those knowledge will definitely help you for you to learn those technologies. Okay, Thiru. Not only for Thiru, everybody. Okay? Right. Definitely you will be benefited. Okay? So that's it, everyone. This is the class for today. One more time telling, I don't have any material. Notes I will share with you, everybody, through files. Okay? And a daily one-hour class, Monday to Friday only classes, Saturday, Sunday, holiday. Okay? Right. Thank you, everyone. So this is the class what is the duration, sir? Duration that's for this course? Two months, easily. And uh, course months, fee? Uh, our online team will discuss with you, okay? So I will okay. give you that number. Fine. Uh, I will give you that number. For everybody, okay? Take that number and you can contact them regarding payment and everything, okay? Right. So clear it, everyone. Hope you got some knowledge in this course, in this class. Right, everybody? That's fine. Got some knowledge or not? Yeah. Right. right. Thank you, everyone. Meet tomorrow and we'll continue. Okay? Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for your feedback. Meet tomorrow and we'll continue. Okay? Bye, everyone. Thank you very much. Yeah. In the last class, we have discussed about uh, what are the prerequisites. So, actually, there is no prerequisites to learn this course. Basic computer knowledge is enough. Then, after introduction to UX and UI. Okay, what is the difference between UX and UI? How our application will start, all those things. Nothing related to subject we have discussed. Okay, right. So now today class, we are going to do uh, some introduction, okay, of the technologies. Right. So before going to that, for the new student purpose, I'll introduce myself. Uh, my name is Ramesh. I have 35 years of experience as a web developer and a trainer. So I, here I'm very practical trainer. I will teach everything with practical uh, examples. Okay. And uh, I don't have any pre-written material. Whatever the notes is required, definitely I will give it in the class. Okay, Monday to Friday only classes. Okay, Saturday, Sunday, holiday. Daily one hour class. Okay, uh, 9 to 10, same time. Okay, everybody? Right.
Let it everybody. Yes. Duration will be two months to two and a half months. Because there is five technology set, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, and Bootstrap. Okay? Right. So this is the technology I will teach. So minimum it will take two months to two and a half months. A template will do in the last uh, Mahiti. Okay? A template will do. So that means a response web page will design in the last. Okay? Right. By using HTML, CSS, and Bootstrap. Clear it, everybody? Hello? Right. So now I am going to continue the class. Right. Yesterday we had discussed about UX and UI. So UX and UI, most of the people will think both are same. But actually they are different, but they have a relation. Okay. Both are uh, different, but they have a relation. Like you and your father. You and your father. See, you have a strong relation with your father. But finally, you are and uh, two opposite persons, sorry, you are two individual persons. You and your father is two individual persons. Like that US and UI, both are individual terms and uh, individual things, but they have a relation. Okay? So UX stands for user experience, UI stands for user interface. User experience means by seeing our application, what user can experience. Okay, by seeing our application, by seeing our application, what user will experience in our application. User interface means how user can interact with our application. How user interface means how user can interact with our application. Clear it everybody? User experience means what user can experience in our application. User interface means how user can interact with our application. So how we can interact by clicking on something, by hovering on something by scrolling up, scrolling down, or else by clicking on something, by typing. So what he is doing, he is interacting with our application. So, Clear it everybody? So by using inter uh, uh, user interface, you can provide interact with the user. User experience means what user can experience. For example, right, if you observe here, Amazon.in, see it everybody? By seeing this icon, you will experience something. Okay, here you will find. Okay, here we will find some uh, address related thing, something like that. Okay, everybody. And if you observe here, this is a logo. But if you observe this logo clearly, A and Z, A to Z. So you will experience something. So here you will get A to Z. He is directly and indirectly also telling. In this Amazon, you will get A to Z like that. Understand right? And you are seeing these icons, right? By seeing this, what you are experiencing, okay, in order to get this next, you need to click here. In order to get previous, you need to click here. He is not writing anything. Click here to see previous image, click here to see backward or next image like that. By seeing this icon, we are experiencing or not. Respond everybody. Especially new students, today I think new students, Asif, Mohiddin. What is your name? Mohiddin only or else Muhammad? Mohiddin only or Muhammad? May I know your name completely? Muhammad, okay. Right. Asif, you understand me? You are not responding, Asif? Unmute yourself and you can respond. Asif, Asif. Thank you, Muhammad. Right. See it? By seeing these icons, what we are experiencing, Okay, we can click so that we will go to the far on previous image. We clicking here, we can go to the next image. Like that we are experienced. Understand it everybody. So this is the icons they are providing here. Clear right? For example, if you go to any other application. Okay, so you will find some other icons. Okay, you will find some other icons. So by seeing that what you will do, you will experience something. For example, uh, you want to educate your father or his mother, your parents, they are illiterate. That means they don't know how to operate a mobile. So, but no need to explain everything. How mobile phone, mobile, uh, how mobile phone works, all those things. Simply what you will do, whenever uh, phone rings, click on the green button. Whenever you want to close the conversation, click on the red button. Like that you will educate or not? Respond everybody. Respond please. Hello? You want it, okay? So what you will, what that, uh, what are you doing there? So 
everybody experience something by seeing red green and red so by explaining about them easily others will understand that is the importance of user experience so a web page is nothing but combination of ui and ui okay user can interact here for example i want some soap see there i can type here so that what i am doing i am interacting how by typing after that by clicking here what i am doing i am interacting or else here also by overlaying on it what i am doing i am interacting so that this all these things are coming understand that so by seeing this i am experiencing something so that i am clicking so that what is happening i am interacting so that the related functionality is working so that's why i am telling a web page is nothing but combination of ui and ui is this point clear everybody yes sir hello sir right so whenever yes, any software company starts a project directly they don't design this web page by writing some html and css yes, code for example you want to construct a home directly you will construct home or else you will first of all write a plan you will first of all draw a plan by the help of an engineer you will draw a plan okay, with the help of that plan yeah with the help of that plan only we will prop we will uh, plan the structure and we will order the material and we will recruit the people to complete that building right everyone correctly we cannot uh, do it like that whenever any software company people okay uh, wants to de uh, develop an application directly they don't design the html and css code they don't write the html and css code okay so what they will do first of all they will design the structure in photoshop or else corel draw okay rs illustrator whatever the graphical tool they are coming at they will design a uh, wireframe okay so by then you got a plan for example see here i will explain here wireframe is nothing but plan for example if you observe here i can wireframe so whenever they want to start a software company whenever any software company start a application first of all what they will do they will design a wireframe wireframe is nothing but plan for our application plan means what where header part will come where sliders will come where set box will come where menu will come where the product uh, where the products will come all those plans i will design okay as a ux reason who will design this ux person ux employee okay so he will place he will fix the places logo icons notification icons all those things clear it everybody hello okay so first of all he will design this plan then after what he will do he will send this plan he will send this plan okay he will send this plan to the client okay yeah who design this plan yeah that's what i'm telling at mohit ux designer ux user experience person graphic designer in general terms we can call okay mohit ux user experience person okay right okay ux person will design this so then after he will send this to the client if he understand the structure and if he okay with this place then what the client will tell okay convert this into mock up mock up means like a project for example you want to purchase a home you not you are not constructing a home right now okay you want to purchase a home in a uh, uh, good area that means where uh, schools is near to your uh, kids where uh, multiplex are available that means movie theaters or entertainment things shopping complex are available very near fruit uh, vegetable market is near so in that area there is some area in the hyderabad so in that area you want to purchase a home so that building is not completed they are just started only 6 months is completed again it will take 6 months time to complete that home or else you are flat at it so what you will do directly you will purchase no so you like that area you don't purchase what you will do you will ask the realtor for the plan 
after that plan you will ask for a brochure right how your flat will look like how your home will look like outside then after entering the home how, how it will look like individually what is how how hall will look then after how kitchen will look how uh, master bedroom will look like then after how second bedroom will look like washroom how it will be balcony how it will be all those things you will uh, see it individually and then after combination also you will see so how they are developing through a brochure understand it everybody respond please so by seeing that brochure you will get a conclusion okay you can purchase it home or not understanding or not respond everybody ashish and mohit ji are not responding yeah mohit ji are responding ashish sir yes, right okay so by seeing that you will understand okay by seeing that uh, brochure you will understand okay whether to purchase or not so here also what he will do he will ask to design a mock up so mock up means what exact images in the exact places okay what i have done is to sorry mock up yeah By the way, uh, US is not integrated in the course. That is not, that is not included in the course. US is separate course. Okay, that is not part of this course. That is most of the time. Ah, uh, that is graphical things only. Illustrator, Corel Draw, Photoshop. You need to use it. That is not included here. Okay, right? I'm confirming. Just for knowledge purpose, I'm telling this. Right now, see it. Same plan, but uh, exact colors, exact images, in the exact place. See it by seeing these icons. We are experiencing something or not? See it. Respond, please, everybody. Okay, so here we can find the location of this uh, uh, restaurant. If you want to book a table, we need to click here. And if you, whenever you click on this prices list or anything, we can find here. Whenever you want to register also, you need to click here. And if you want to go to the main menus, you need to click here. And if you want to search anything, you need to click here. We are experiencing something. And observe this products area. by default they are displaying only two items what is that item name and restaurant but whenever you go over they are displaying four things what is that item name restaurant name price and order now clear it everybody and then after they are displaying the reviews so this is the reviewer image this is the content and then after photo again vertically two sections bottom very bottom of the page copyright related things and the left side this thing sorry above that left uh, this thing left side middle right side clear it everyone kindly respond okay right so if the you, if the client is satisfied with this designing if the client is satisfied with this designing okay then he will ask us to convert this web page uh, this mock up into a web page so to convert this mock up into a web page we need to use html and css technologies html and css technologies Hey, this is the web page. See it, everybody. Location, book a table, call in, I mean, price. Others, where are they related thing? Log in and sign up. Here, see it. Can you search here in this image? Respond, Ashish. Can you able to search here in this uh, search bar in the image? No, sir. No, sir. No. no. But here, you can uh, enter. You can do it. Yes. Okay. But of course, server-side programmers ask to retrieve the data, but that is different task. But actually, you can enter some data, and you can click here also. Okay, so this is what you are interacting. Not only this, you are over interacting, you are interacting. Everything, whenever you over, whenever you scroll up, scroll down, okay, or else whenever you click something, you are interacting with the application. And by seeing these icons, you are experiencing something. There is also. user experience so a web page is nothing but combination of user experience and user interface clear it everybody and icons also we need to choose appropriate icon see it book a table in a classroom also we have a table right everybody but the related tables they are not keeping here only restaurant related tables are they are keeping here clear it everybody can you respond okay right and drinks see beer and whiskey also drinks only But they are not keeping here any alcohol related drinks. Why? This is only restaurant, not bar and restaurant. So that's why they are displaying here milkshake related uh, glasses only. Under starter, see there they are displaying here uh, uh, strawberries. 
nobody eat a kilos and kilos of uh, uh, strawberry rice okay so 5 to 10 10 to 15 they will eat something like that the doctor they are writing as starters and main course see it they are displaying as biryani the course means you are also joining my course right everybody so that's why i am not displaying here any uh, material related things what i need to do main course means whenever you are going to the restaurant main course means what big item so that's why they are displaying here that means stomach full item main course means what stomach full item so they are displaying this biryani so vegetarian things and again non vegetarian things this thing. so everything you need to have a purpose every economy should have a purpose so the you ux reasoner he must have the more common sense how to convert our business requirement into business application and he has to know which products are suitable he has to know which icons are suitable where you need to keep the icon first which icon i need to keep what is the purpose all those things he should have a purpose and he should have some clear knowledge clear it everybody just one please hello okay right so this is a web page this is the uh, web page so this is a mock up and this is a web page so to create this white page programmatically we need to use html to create this mock up we need to use html plus css so finally we will get this output html plus css means web page okay html plus css means a web page clear it everybody HTML plus CSS means a web page. Okay, right. This is about this. So to convert this web page into responsive, we need to use Bootstrap technology. Right. So okay, that right. this is about this. Now coming to previous thing, how did you ask one thing? Sir, any tablet something like that. So yes, not this template. This is not responsive. Uh, I'm going to design another template in this course. What is that? Is I want to display it here. A responsive template. By using HTML, CSS, and Bootstrap, I have designed this response. Okay, this is our template. We are going to design in this course. Okay, see, we are observing this font, right? This is not regular CSS three font. They are third party font, Google font. That means I will tell you how to utilize the third party fonts also. And if you observe here this icon, right? So this is also image. That this is not image. These are also third party icon. That means I will tell you how to utilize the third party icon also, especially font or some icon. Okay, and whenever you observe here, this image is not moving. Rest of the image is moving. rest of the application is moving, but not this image. This is called parallax effect. So that means I will tell you how to create this parallax effect also. And if, okay, right, not a WordPress exactly, a template, a professional template. What am I saying? Right, and this is. Uh, project. Okay, we'll write the code. In WordPress, automatically template will come right. But here we'll write the code. Okay, right. And project. That means a project. That means some done uh, projects related images. And the team. This is also third party icon. Font also my icon. And the slider. See it? Right. Here image sizes are not same. That's why it is coming with big jack order. But in real time, they will give you equal size images. So that you will get proper image, okay? That no need to worry about that. And then after your form and a Google Map, how to integrate your office address in your application. All those things I will display here. Clear it, everybody? That's one thing. And this is a responsive web page, okay? This is what a responsive web page. Responsive web page means depends upon the browser size and depends upon the, okay? Uh, Device size automatically should adjust the alignment. For example, see it. I am reducing the size. Automatically, uh, web page alignment is adjusted or not? That's point number one. Previously, we are able to see complete menu, but now only you are seeing menu icon. See it? When now we click, it is coming. When now we click, it is going. And this side it is coming. And up there here, still sir. See, when now you decrease, it is coming only one column. But when now, yeah, mobile computer, yes. But whenever you are increasing, there is two columns, and button size also decreases. Mm -hmm. See it. Whenever you decrease, button size is increasing. That means depends upon the device size, it is increasing also. And again, you switch, it is coming four columns now. And in this size, it is coming two columns per row. But whenever you decrease, one by one. See it. Still, it is not moving. 
and project PS3 column. But whenever you decrease, that means in a tablet or smartphone, they are coming two columns only. This is same section is coming one by one. But whenever you increase, they will come three columns. See it. And the slide also adjusting. It depends upon the size, it is adjusting. And this one also is adjusting. And whenever we decrease the uh, cell, it is coming like this, one by two. Understand it, everybody? Adjusting or not? Responsibly, okay? So this is what responsible website. Hello? This is the template we will do that. Okay, not only this, whatever I teach, everything is in practical manner only. Okay, everybody, see it. Now, say somebody, they will just, uh, just display the course content. But they don't display the example. But here I am displaying the example also. This is one of the examples. Not only this, see it, for instance, relate to an absolute. This type of thing, all real time stuff only. Page okay. now, whenever I'm scrolling, this menu is not moving. Position picture, okay? Yeah, audio and video is uh, very simple. Yeah, at that also I will tell you. Okay, my dear. Right, see it here, audio and video. Yeah, see it. Video. Audio file is not available in my computer. So, but uh, syntax and all those things I will tell you. Okay? Right, see it, video tag. Okay? Right. And then after the animation, see it. Wait some time, it will come. That's it, okay? Right. And everything, position also. also. And then after, flex examples also I will tell you. See it, it is the very latest. Flex examples. That is also I will tell you. Very clearly. Not a, a normal, normal things, okay? Very clearly I will tell you. And then after, position related on sticky. See it, sticky. Before moving, okay, whenever I am scrolling it is moving. But once it touched the view port, that means it touched the browser top part. It doesn't move, see it. Is it moving now? No. But before touching, it is moving. But after touching, it doesn't move. Clear it, everybody? So, position sticky. Clear it, everybody? Okay, pseudo selectors, all those things. Transform, queue, see it. Mastercard effect, something like that, see it. Okay? Here also. An overlay. Not only this, and absolute car example, see it. Whenever you over, it is zooming without disturbing this. And whenever you over here, it is converting as a square. And by using border and border radius, everybody is yeah, complete within one or two minutes only. But see it, by using border and border radius, we can make this many shapes. By using pure HTML sizes, I made this many shapes. Internet, international bank account number Understand it, everybody. Hello? Yes, sir, please. Right. Sir, understood. And the chessboard also. With less amount of code, we are creating a chessboard here. Okay? Right. And not only this, the content element, the paragraph effect. Notebook effect, you know, right? Image will come, and then after, paragraph will come. Mm -hmm. So up to image aspect area, it will come, this much size only. After that, it will lock by entire parent. And background image. And you see it, it is coming, it will pop out. Coming right, everybody. Okay? Right. Not simple, simple things, okay? Everything will come with it. It's a perfect example. And fetched things also. Yeah, JavaScript, jQuery also in the same way. Okay, everybody? So this is what I will teach everyone. Clear or not? Respond please. And uh, then after some uh, uh, third party library, third party plugin also, you can observe here. See it whenever you over, see it. How to utilize the third party plugins? That is also I will tell you. This is, we don't write programming, understanding my point. In real time also, we need to play the third party libraries only. So how to indicate third party libraries in our application? 
That is also I will tell you. Later on, I'll respond to everybody. Hello? Amazon. Okay, Amazon or uh, Mintra. That type of things, uh, you will find it. This is Zoom query, Zoom in plugin. Okay, very, very uh, useful in the real time also. In the real time also, you don't write code. It will take uh, months and months. So, that's why they will use third party fonts. Sorry, third party library. I will tell you how to do this one. Clear it, everybody? Next one, please. Hello? Right. Okay, everyone, in jQuery also, first, last, next, DOM traversing method, and you can observe here, accordion menu. By using jQuery, we write the code for this. I will tell you how to do this. Okay, this type of things. And then after drag and drop also there, wait one second. See, drag and drop, see it. This is jQuery UI, third party library only. Understand it everybody? And this is gradient color. Okay, this is a linear gradient and this is a radial gradient. So this type of things also I will explain to you. Yeah, see it one more magnifying example. See it everyone. Third party library one day. Understanding or not? Respond please. Okay, right. This type of real time also only I will teach here, okay? And uh, coming to JavaScript, see it. All the latest things only. Async and await. Array methods, however, I will teach. And call up and bind methods. Closures concept. Cookies. Okay, right. And then after, uh, difference between where related forms, keywords, different types of methods. That means normal function, anonymous function, lambda expression, and filter method. Then after for each loop, for loop, everything. See it, for loop, how many examples are there? For each loop. Okay? And then after map method, element selectors like a get elements by class name, tag name, and hosting, inner text and inner HTML. Then after keyboard events, length property, local storage, map method, object, okay, promises especially, query selector, query selector all, session storage, set interval, clear interval, set demo, clear and Clear See, whatever the course content is there, for everything I am making here the okay, examples also. And uh, this file will contain the notes also. For example, if you observe here, this is the page right. If you open with Notepad++, you will get the code as well as you will get the notes also here in the form of comments. So that this is practical, this is theory. Both are available in the same page. This is how we will teach. And these files I will share with everybody after making them. Clear right, everybody? Next one, please. Okay? Right. So, so, so you are going to share? Sorry. Yeah. So you are going to share it, right? All these things? Yeah, after making payment, I will share this uh, with everybody. Okay? Videos also I will share with everybody. After making okay. payment. Okay? Right. So, yeah. That's it, everybody. This is how I will teach. Okay, this is what I will teach in this course. So, tomorrow onwards, we will start the technical uh, elements. That means what is HTML, what is CSS introduction, what is HTML, what is the introduction, what is CSS, what is the introduction. Then after, okay, we'll, uh, okay, I will uh, discuss all these technologies. Clear it everybody, tomorrow onwards we'll start this. Yeah, Mohit, I will tell Ajax also. Ajax is simple uh, technique only. I will tell you that, okay? Right, that is not a big thing, actually. That is not a library or a framework. Just it is the technique. I will tell you definitely, okay? Then, that means after completion of JavaScript and jQuery only, you can understand it. And moreover, whenever you are working with server-side technology, that will be more useful. Generally, at that time only, you will understand it very clearly, but I will tell in client cell level. Okay, Mahiti? And others also. Sorry, Muhammad. Muhammad. Okay? Right. No, hosting is not. So what is it? Say, XML is, why are you asking about XML? That is a different thing, okay? XML is not included. So XHTML means HTML4 only. So yes, that is also will be covered, okay? Right. Okay, Shubham? Right. Sir, 
So for how to host the whole website, there is nothing here, okay? International right. Hosting is, I don't teach here, uh, Mahidji. In real time also, nobody will, ask, uh, will expect from the hosting, all right? Because in the companies, if they, uh, everybody will give that to the senior employee only. So if you any necessary is there, the senior employee will uh, guide you how to host it, okay? That is not a big drawback. That is not a drawback for the person, okay? So, posting all the things, they will train you, okay? Right. Because every server has its own process, so they will train you, okay? No need to worry about that. Yeah. Any doubt? So, one more time, telling posting is not, uh, I don't tell you here, okay? That's what, right, uh, this is what uh, real-time project means, right? Template, right? All this are real-time ex uh, examples on this. This is what I will teach, uh, Okay, Mohammed. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, this is also all those things real time uh, scenario only. Yes, and this template also sheets. Mm -hmm. All those things are uh, uh, useful in the real time. See, within uh, every company they will develop, they will write different different course. Okay, as a professor also, as a experience also, experienced person also, you need to understand the core concept of the topic. Then only you can develop number of uh, templates. So I will make you perfect in the core concept. And uh, for example, for under better understanding purpose, I will tell this type of template only. Okay? Right. And this example is also. Okay? Right. Yeah. That's it, everybody. So tomorrow onwards, we will enter into the technical uh, stuff. Okay? What is HTML? What is CSS? Tomorrow onwards, I will tell you. Okay? Right. Thank you, everybody. We'll meet tomorrow and we'll continue. Okay? Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. In the last class, uh, we have successfully discussed about what is UX and what is UI, what is the difference between them, and all those things basic things we have completed. Nothing related to subject. So, whoever attending today, please don't worry. Those videos are also available. After joining my class, you will get that video also. Now, today, what we the thing we are going to discuss is because uh, yesterday also, day before yesterday also, same topics I have discussed, okay? So now today, what is the thing we are going to discuss is, we are going to discuss about introduction of UI technologies, HTML and CSS. First of all, we will complete the uh, HTML introduction, then we will go to the uh, CSS. Okay, everybody? So why we, you need to, why we need to use this HTML technologies, HTML CSS, to create a web page, to create a web page, okay? So, before going to touch, so who developed the HTML, what is the purpose, all those things we will discuss. Okay, so this course is UI Technologies. So, what is the topics involved, what are the technologies I will cover in this course is HTML, version 5, CSS, version 3, Bootstrap, version 4, JavaScript, jQuery. So, these are the five technologies we are going to learn in this course with practical knowledge. Okay, everybody? Right. Now, today class, we are going to discuss about introduction of HTML. If there is time, we will discuss about the introduction of CSS also. Clear, everyone? Can you respond? Okay. Right. Right. So, we will be chasing the CSS. Okay, right. So, now, first thing is, who developed the HTML? What is that? Who developed the HTML? Okay, right. Who developed HTML? Who developed it? Tim Berners Lee. What is that? Who is this? Tim Berners Lee. He developed HTML. He developed HTML. Clear it, everybody. Who developed HTML? Tim Berners Lee developed HTML. Okay, then what is the purpose? For what purpose? What is the purpose of HTML. What is the purpose? To create web pages or websites. By using the web pages only we will create a website. To create web pages or websites. There it everybody. To create web pages or a website. That is the purpose here developed this HTML language. Clear it everybody. Hello. Hello. Okay, so it's clear. Right. So then after 
what is the purpose of a website? What is the purpose of a website or a web application or a web page? What is the purpose? Yes, one. What is the purpose? To share information across the world. That is the purpose. Okay? Uh, to sell uh, entire models. For example, Amazon. In the Amazon, you can purchase uh, the products. So that means they are selling. Okay? Not only that. For example, Wikipedia. What are you getting in the Wikipedia? Information. YouTube. What are you getting? Information. In Wikipedia, you will get the information in text format. Understand it, everybody? In Wikipedia, we are getting the information in the text format. In the YouTube, you will get the information in the video format. In some other websites, so many uh, uh, these things, uh, psychology related websites or something like that, you will get the information in audio form. They will give mountains to online also in audio form. Or else any music websites, previous days everybody downloaded the music, audio sounds also. How they are getting in audio format. So whatever it may be, okay, what we are getting in the internet, information, information is nothing but data. So that's why every mobile company has data plans, data plans, data plans like this. Internet means data one. Okay, we'll get the information or else we can sell our products through entire world. Understanding or not? That is the purpose of website. Respond everybody. Is it clear or not? Hello? Yes. All right. Only one she is responding. Uh, Humphrey, Hitesh, Pawan, Swapni, you are not responding. Respond everybody. It's fine, sir. We can get you. Thank you very much. Yeah, right. So, what is the purpose of website? To share information across the world, or okay, to sell the uh, to sell the products across the world, or else communication also. Okay, see there is a website also there, and there is a web web application also there. Okay, website means what? Only information. For example, I have an institute. Think like assume like that. Okay, so what I will do there? Nothing more. Just whatever the batches I have. I will keep it when the new batches will start. I will keep that information and if you want, I will simply put a contact as form. That's it. So what is that website? Just you will buy basic application. Uh, sorry, basic uh, information only. Basic information. Web application means what? We can interact with the application. For example, web, Wikipedia. That is not just a website. That is a web application only. Why? Because you can interact also. You can add your data. You can edit your data. Okay, if anybody, if you want to modify any other data, that is also, you can do it. Yeah, it's okay, uh, Nitesh. Okay? So, whenever, uh, yeah, you, whenever you are interacting more with the application, that comes under web application. For clear understanding, for example, Facebook, that is just not a website, that is a web application. Why? Because you can make video calls, you can make audio calls, you can chat with clicks, you can see their profiles and you can send friend requests. Okay. And you can, uh, if you want, you can promote your uh, business also. So what are you doing there? You're interacting more. So that is just, that is just not a web website. That is a web application. And YouTube also, you can create your own YouTube channel. You can post and everything. That is a web application. Not only that, all the job portals. Job portals means howfree.com, timesjobs.com, careerbuilder.com. That's a, that's the type of things. What you are doing there, yeah, just interacting with the application more. That means you are getting the information. Who so your post the job, you are getting that information. If you want, you are you can apply it. Okay, or else uh, okay, or else if you are in HR, you can pay some amount and you can download some resumes. Okay, so there is business involved also. So that is a web application. So if you want to create a website also, web application also. Okay, we need to use this HTML language only. Start designing purpose. And says as for designing purpose, we need to use this thing only. HTML CSS. So what is the purpose of a website or web application? To share the information across the board. Okay. In the job portal also, what are you getting generally? Okay. Here there is a ABC company. We want some job. Uh, particular language programmers so that what are you doing there you are applying for it so finally you are doing information through regime also what are you doing you are sharing information only what is your experience what is your current salary 
what is your hobbies, what is your technical skills, and everything what are you sharing? Your information only through resume, through job portals. The resume through job portals. So whatever it may be in the internet, actually you share the information. Which is nothing but data. So just because of this great person simultaneously, entire world is able to communicate with each other. Suppose you are also communicating with me because of internet only. Understand me? Right. So uh, that is the advantage of this great person. Okay. Uh, right. This is what he contributed to the world. Okay. Right. Suppose I have designed a web application. Suppose I have designed a website. So can everybody in the world can see this? That's what everybody. I have created a website in my computer. Everybody in the world can see that website or not? That's what everybody. No, sir. No, actually no. Why? Because if you design a website in your computer, only you and your friends, whoever able to access that particular computer, only that person can able to see that. Not the entire world. Okay, if you want to display your website to the entire world, you need to purchase two things in the internet. What is that? One is domain name. Domain name is application name. See, each and every human being should have a name. By using that only we can call. For example, Hampre, okay, Nitesh, Pawan, Shobham. What is it? What are you? you that is your name only. If I want to call a particular person, I can call it. You can call with that name only. Like that, whenever uh, you want to interact with any application that should have a name. For example, Facebook, Twitter, like that. So every application should have a domain name. Domain name means that only. Facebook.com, Twitter.com, Google.com. Those are all domain names. So, you need to purchase domain name. So, before purchasing, whoever sells that domain, they will ask them. Okay? Uh, what is the domain name you want? You need to type there. If it is available, then only they will give it. Give it to you. Or else, you need to go for any other name. Understanding that? Right. Like that, you need to purchase posting space. Why? Because in order to develop an application, we need to write so much code. The entire code also we don't write in a single page. For example, home page, we will write home page related code, about about us page related code, services, services page related code, contact, contact related code. Understanding that? So we need to divide that application into pages. And all the pages, what we need to do? We need to move to the server that is called hosting space. Okay? So hosting space is nothing but a space in your computer. See it in the D drive. You can create your own folder here. And you can save all your files. Then what is the thing you need to do? Same files you need to move to the server. The server also nothing but computer. But it has a more memory so that everybody in the world can communicate. So in that server you need to purchase some space. That is called hosting space. So bigrock.com, godaddy.com, Google also uh, uh, sells some space. Yahoo also sells some space, hosting spaces. So you need to purchase this space from them only. Understand right my point? That's point everybody. Okay, right. So in order to share the information, you need to purchase two things. So that is the point I made. How to share information across the world. To share information across the world. We need to purchase two things in the internet. Internet means server only. One is domain name. For example, should be called www.google.com. This is the domain name. Okay? Right. Then after hosting space. We need to move all our application related files. Files. So, Posting space. 
Okay, into host That means host space is nothing but which will uh, hold our in, uh, code in the interface. Special name point. That's what I will do. Will hold uh, uh, files in the internet. Understanding or not? That's what everybody. I'll say some phrase. Yes, yes. Sir. Okay, right. Okay, so we need to uh, purchase it there on hosting space. Okay, so that's why uh, domain name is very important. That should be unique only. Okay, that should be unique. Uh, domain name is like our role number in this code. In the college also. Okay, we have multiple names also. There are so many Humphreys in the class. There are so many assets in the class. We yeah, have baby. But that's why what teacher will do for each and every person, he will assign okay, uh, a particular role number. So that if they want to call any particular person, they will call with that role number. So that only that person will react. In the same way, everybody has some thoughts. So some thoughts will be similar also. Some people will get same names only. So that's why uh, one application should not, uh, should not disturb the other application. So that's why before registering the domain name, they will ask you, what is the domain name you are expecting? If that is domain name is available, then only they will assign it to you. Or else you need to go for other website. Other domain. Okay, like that. Uh, we need to purchase hosting space. Okay, you need to purchase hosting space. So whenever the user type the domain name in the browser, URL bar here. TH. This is the URL bar. Okay. If anybody types here your uh, domain name, then automatically the files from this hosting space will call automatically. The, the files from this hosting space. We will call automatically. Now respond everybody. Automatically files will call right. But not all files. Which file will call automatically? Can you yeah, do you know? Which file will call automatically? Do you know? Whenever user types domain name in the URL bar, one file will automatically one file will call automatically from the hosting space. What is that file name? Do you know? Respond it. Do you know that? index.html what is that <coughs> index.html so that's why every application should have only one index.html so whatever you want to display whatever you want to display whenever the user type it there we are uh, domain name the url bar okay so that that file name you should give as index and according to that we need to give the extension also dot html dot php dot aspn whatever it may be for example if you observe here amazon dot in amazon dot in which you are seeing this information or not that's one everybody yes sir yes sir okay so what is this this is the home page of Amazon. So how this is coming automatically? Because for this home page, they have given as index. Understand my point? They have given the name as index. So, so whenever any user type put there, Amazon dot in the URL bar, automatically they are getting this information. They are getting this particular page. Clear it, everybody? So they have given this as index on HTML. Okay, suppose I want to purchase some other things. What I will do? I will want to purchase this. Uh, uh, travel needs. Or else this mobile. What I will do? From this home page only, I will navigate to any other particular page. Okay, suppose see here. I am navigating or not. That's what everybody. So this is the home page is the part of the application. From that only, it will navigate to any other page in the application. Let it everyone. This is how we will uh, develop an application. Last one. Are you understanding? Yes. Humphrey, on, yeah, Humphrey, you are not responding. Yes. In this. Yeah. I'm understanding. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'm following. Yeah. Uh, because my name, my English is Indian English, right? So maybe it will be difficult for you. That's why I'm asking. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay, both. I'm okay, sir. Yeah, yeah, right. So uh, that's it, okay? Mm -hmm. Right. Hosting space. So this is about the hosting space also. So every application requires, every application requires two things, domain name and hosting space. Whenever user type uh, your domain name in the URL bar, and related files will call from the hosting space. Mainly index.html. Every application should have index, index.html that relevant technology. 
So from that home page only we will navigate to any other page in the application. So this is how it will work. So where we need to purchase server right? Where we need to purchase these two things? In internet means www. What is that? www. www means worldwide web. Okay, right. There we need to purchase. So then who developed www? Again, Tim Banners Lee Developments. Tim Banners Lee Developments. So, what is www stands for? Worldwide Web. Worldwide Web. Okay, everybody? www stands for Worldwide. That's it. Clear it, everyone? That's fine. So, there we need to purchase these two things. So, GoDaddy also, Big Rock also, Google also, Yahoo also, they will sell the space in the www. Okay? Worldwide. So, all the computers are connecting to a particular computer. That is called that particular computer is a server. Main computer will be there. From that, every continent in India has its own main computer. From that, it has other servers. From that servers, everybody will connect. Okay. So mainly, we are connecting Sir, one particular computer. That is called the server. Okay. Right. There you need to put this space. That space can be called as this. So who developed this? Again, this Tim Berners Leon. Tim Berners Leon. Okay. Right. So this is the basic information related to internet. If these points are clear, everybody respond. What is the website also? How to share the information also? What is the domain name also? Hosting space also? What is www? Everything from the starting of the classroom till now. Uh, clear or not? Respond, everybody. Only one is responding. Others also respond. Yes, it's clear for me also. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Right. So then after this one, coming to this HTML. Okay. Right. So, what is the purpose of HTML? Uh, to create web pages, right? So then, after what is HTML? What is that? What is HTML? HTML is a markup language which is used to markup language means tag based language which is used to create static. Web sites, static web application also, okay? Right. Web applications also, okay? All right, websites are web applications. Of course, web applications also, web websites also, we can develop it. Server side technology, but the server side technologies are used to get the information only. After getting the information, we need to write with proper structure. For example, see it. How is Amazon displaying with proper structure or not? So from where they are getting this data? From the database only. How they are retrieving? By using any server side technology, PHP, .NET, Java, whatever it may be, they will use. But after retrieving the information, what they will do? They will combine that with HTML, CSS. Then only they will give proper structure. Understand me? So, static also, dynamic web application also, whatever it may be, with you proper structure to our data.